All right, let's uh, bounce around some more topics. We call it Face Off. Big news for Fran McCaffrey and the Hawkeyes. Chris Murray is returning for his junior season. The lefty will be the focal point of the offense next year. Yeah, I think it's the right move. Dad Kenyon says there was some first round interest, but nothing guaranteed, likely a mid second round choice. His numbers should take a big jump next year, and then he's likely heading to the NBA as a first round selection. Former UNI Panther AJ Green is staying in the NBA draft. This move surprised me. I thought he would come back to college, play at Iowa State one year with his dad, but Green is betting on himself and likely had some solid workouts to think he's got a shot. He's a scorer, plain and simple. I expected Green at Iowa State, especially with his dad, as you mentioned, as an assistant coach. But Ben Jacobson was right in saying he thought Green would go pro. Likely a late second round pick. He'll be looking for a two way deal. And the rumor mill indicates that there are a few teams that are very interested. So stay tuned. Iowa State head coach TJ Otzelberger received a one year contract extension and a $500,000 raise this week. TJ now makes $2 million per season. A good call by Jamie Pollard after what they did last year. Yeah, that's the name of the game. Team has a good season. Got to give the coach a raise to keep him at the school. Otzelberger deserves it. Just the third coach in NCAA history to lead his team to the Sweet 16 after taking over a team with a losing record. And when I say losing, it was bad the <laughs> <Right>. year before. <laughs> Iowa's non-conference men's basketball schedule was pretty bad last year. It'll get a big boost this year. The Hawkeyes will take on Duke. December 6th at the Jimmy V Classic at Madison Square Garden. Likely big underdogs, but that's great exposure. Yeah, prime time national TV event. Duke will be a top 10 team with the number one recruiting class coming in. It sucks the Hawkeyes catch Duke after Coach K's tenure, but at the mecca of basketball and MSG, that should be a ton of fun. Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers beat Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen one up in a made for TV charity golf event. Rogers sank the winning putt on the final hole. Did you watch any of this? Because I did not. I saw a few highlights here and there. It's fun. All four of those guys are good TV, good personalities. Throw in Charles Barkley and <laughs> Shaq giving commentary, and it's a solid event for charity. And all four are actually pretty decent golfers as well.